One of my favorite finance YouTubers and somebody that I believe to be the top three in terms of one of the best finance YouTube creators on the entire platform uh, essentially is moving on to bigger and better things. And I couldn't be happier for him. And I wanted to go ahead and take this time to talk about why this is so important and how it relates to some of the clowns and the bad apples that you're seeing on YouTube and why we're finally seeing a little bit of justice. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So this guy's name is Colin with the Investor Channel. Uh, shout out to him. He has a way bigger following than me. He's actually mentioned my channel before on his channel, and I, I really appreciate him for that. Uh, I've been a fan of his channel for years. I've been watching this guy since like 2021, I believe. And he really is one of the best on YouTube. And so he announced a very big change that's coming to his life, you know, a very big opportunity that he's accepted. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to affect how he makes videos and what he does going forward. But honestly, I'm happy for him because it's guys like this that deserve to get opportunity because he actually knows what he's talking about. And I'll just be straight up with you guys. This guy has helped me make money. I have made money in the stock market because of this guy. I'm not talking about buy and sell alerts. I'm not talking about, oh, I copied him and all that because you should never do that. But this guy's knowledge, his understanding, the way he breaks down companies, the way he reads financials, this guy and his knowledge and his expertise has helped me make money. So let's go ahead and listen to what he actually said. Here we go. Finally became official today. I have accepted a position at a company that is a you know a seven eight hundred million they're actually a public company they have uh, their own ticker and their own stock symbol it's about a seven hundred eight hundred million dollar company the last time I looked at it and it's profitable and they pay a dividend they do a lot of market research they do newsletters they give stock advice they do a lot of different types of things I uh, they made me an offer they found me here on YouTube and made me an offer I just simply could not refuse. I have been doing videos for a number of years here. Now, did you guys just hear that? This company that he just took a job offer with that gave him an offer, a financial offer that he couldn't refuse, found him on YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry. Has Jeremy LaFave ever gotten an offer? He's been on YouTube longer than Colin. Jeremy been on YouTube since like 2017. Oh, I'm sorry. Has any financial big company or anybody ever reached out to Jeremy and said, hey, we really like what you do. We'd like to hire you. No. Has anybody ever reached out to me, Kevin? No. What about Chris Sane? No. What about Stockmo? No. What about Stock Up with Larry Jones? No. Oh, out of all those people who were getting all those views and they all have well over half a million subscribers, oh, it's the guy with 125,000 subscribers that ends up getting the offer. Why is that? Because when they were looking on YouTube, I bet you, I don't know who hired him, but whoever did, I bet you when they were looking on YouTube, they saw a bunch of clowns. And they were like, holy cow, is there anybody on here who actually has talent and actually knows how to analyze a stock and understands finance? And they were like, oh, holy cow, we finally found somebody. And then they found Colin with the Investor Channel, who was absolutely one of the best on there. And then they offered him what they offered him. And I just really think that this is this is justice. This, this is great to see. This is great for the finance community. And I think that the real people on finance are starting to make a little bit of a comeback now that everybody else has pretty much been exposed for being a fraud. We're talking about the Jeremy's of the world, the Meat Cabins, the Stock Mo's, the Stock Up Larry Jones, my financial friend. He's a clown too. Dead inside's a clown. All these guys are just awful. They're just awful human beings. They are awful for the finance space. And it just still to this day blows my mind how somebody who used to work at a gas station, somebody who used to be a freaking Uber driver, somebody who used to freaking sweep the, sweep the zoo cages can just turn on a camera, talk about finance and just and just blow up. It blows my mind. But let me show you where the justice part comes in, because guess what? And I've said this plenty of times on my channel. Part of the problem is actually the consumers. Because a lot of people, even in the finance space, don't actually come to the YouTube finance community to learn how to actually invest. They come to copy people. A lot of people just want to copy somebody that they think is smarter than them. They come for the buy and sell alerts. They come for the, this stock will 10X, this stock will 5X, generational wealth, quit your job, never have to work again. They come for that garbage. And unfortunately, it leads to this. Guys like Colin with 125,000 subscribers are only getting, you know, 10K views, 9K views, 9K views, 14K views, 13K views. He's not getting an insane amount of views that you would think somebody as good as him should be getting. And you compare that to a clown, somebody who knows nothing, like this guy, Jeremy LaFave, who has a way bigger following. Colin only has 125,000 subscribers and actually knows what he's talking about. This guy knows nothing, zero, absolutely nothing. I know more than him. 
freaking, I don't know, everybody knows more than him. And he has 700,000 subscribers. But now we're seeing the real justice because guess what? All these guys' views are going down. And we talked about this. Matter of fact, let me go read my comment. I actually put a comment on Colin's video. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, it's the first comment. Nice. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I did not know this comment I got 43 likes. That's awesome. So clearly a lot of people agree with me. Here's the comment I left on Colin's channel. I say, congrats, Colin. You are by far one of the best stock market guys I've ever seen and definitely one of the best on YouTube. You deserve all the blessings you're receiving, and I'm so happy for you, which I really am. I am so happy for this guy. He deserves it so much. This guy has gone years not getting millions of views on his channel like he should and, you know, just getting like 20K, 15K views, whatever. But this guy really makes great content for people who actually want to learn how to invest and make money in the stock market. Uh I said, you deserve all the blessings you're rece receiving, and I'm so happy for you. We're in a period now where views and ad revenue are dropping like crazy for many of the bad Apple finance creators, which is true. I've been covering this. By the way, my ad revenue is dropping like crazy, too, and so is Strongman's. That's why Strongman started the $40 video thing, because we're literally getting like 5 10 bucks 10 a video. We're not getting anything. Like, If we don't get sponsors or we don't find other ways to make money, we're essentially working for free here. Like, We're not making jack, you know? But anyway, I said, meanwhile, the real finance guys like you are making even more money and being rewarded for actually providing value and knowing what you're talking about while the fakers on YouTube are losing money. This is real justice. Love this for you. A major congrats. So I really do love this for Colin because we're in a period now where make no mistake about it, folks. We're absolutely in a recession. There's no doubt about it. Um, and, and besides that, uh, advertising has just been getting smoked. Okay. So a lot of people are you losing money on ad revenue. They're also not getting as many views, which means the sponsors are going to start to slow down because they're like, okay, well, because the sponsors are just going to where the views are. If you're not getting the views anymore, then they're going to go to Mr. Beast and everybody like that because you're not getting the views that you used to get. So we're seeing that. You know, we, we even saw it. Jeremy showed us a video where he went from making $50,000 a month on YouTube to just now making about like what, like 14K, 10K on YouTube, something like that a month, which is still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but it's a significant drop from where he was. One of the things that makes me so happy about what's happening with college is I don't know how much money he's getting paid, but he says it's life changing. And that just makes me so happy because this is one of the few people on YouTube who actually know what they're talking about. And one of the biggest reasons why I even started my channel is because I just got so tired of these grifters, these, these awful human beings who literally know nothing about stocks. Don't even know the basics. Don't, don't need, don't even know the basics. Can't do anything and just randomly find garbage companies and pump them. And I got to highlight this guy. And, and I know Colin doesn't want anything to do with the drama. So I just want to say, uh, Colin has nothing to do with this video. This is me making this video on my own. I know Colin doesn't want to be in the drama, but I do. Um, one of the things that really upset me with Jeremy is you got to keep in mind, Jeremy pumped this trash stock called tattooed chef. I want to see if I could find that video. Uh, yeah, I don't see it. But anyway, Jeremy pumped this trash stock called Tattooed Chef, right? Which was, you know, anybody with a brain could have easily seen that that company was trash. Jeremy bought it at $25 and he ended up selling it for 70 cents. So basically, when it was $25 a share, he put a million dollars into it. And then when it went to 75 cents a share, he finally decided to sell. And it's just... I just don't understand how guys like this grow on YouTube and get big. And I don't understand how guys like this still have a following. Like the fact that his videos even still get decent views, just it, it just blows my mind. It almost makes you lose hope, you know. But one of the things that gives me hope is seeing stuff like this, seeing the fact that uh, Colin with the Investor Channel uh, just recently got a job offer and a really good job offer, a life changing job offer for all of the years he put into uh, giving, providing value and actually teaching people how to invest. So I just want to say uh, congrats to you, Colin. I'm really happy for you, man. Wishing you the best in your future endeavors. And I don't know if you're leaving YouTube for forever. Um, it seems like you might be, but either way, thank you for everything you've done. You've definitely helped me learn. You've definitely helped me make money in the stock market. And to all the clowns out there, I don't know. <laughs> this is the justice. You guys aren't going to get offered crap because you guys don't know what you're talking about. This guy knows what he's talking about, so it's awesome to see. Okay, that was my little rant for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.